WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome back. Dow. Dow finished up 181. NASDAQ up 79. s and is up 24. Bottom line, folks, you had a failure in price and volume out here. Pretty amazing, too, uh, the contraction of volume. And what I mean by that is a failure of price and volume. You got over the highs of yesterday, closing underneath them. Inside the composite, folks, normally a composite can do 2 billion shares pretty easily. We're going to be at about 1.5 billion. Uh, we went down yesterday 1.9. It's a big number. If we go take a look at the uh, S&P, you're going to see the same type of setup inside the SPY. Uh, SPY out here closed at uh, $2.59. 291. Well, the, the number that had to close over was 291.85. We're at 291.12. The SPY did 59 million shares versus the 101 yesterday. Bottom line, you still get that potential ABC structure on the way down. NDX 100 did the same thing. Uh, NDX 100, the three Qs, goes up $1.81. We got up as high as 188.08, and then you closed out the day at 187.23. Anything under 187.85 was the failure. We did 38 million shares on the way down yesterday. You did 19 million on the way up today. Kind of a disaster, actually. We're going to take a look at the note and bond market. Note and bond market pulled back, tremendously light of volume. We uh, didn't even break a swing in the 10-year. 1.1 million contracts. The 1.1 million contracts are going into uh, 1.9 million. So the note and bond market still continues to want higher price, lower yield. 132.10 is the high that was generated out here um, in September. I expect we're going to go after that high. Uh, right now, we are yielding 1.57. We hit 1.52 this morning. King dollar, king dollar still holding price. Bottom line, uh, pretty amazing. This thing has been staying up here for quite some time. You're still in a larger range. Uh, what that has to do with, of course, if we go over and we take a look at the euro, we're talking euro still at lows. Right now, the euro is at 109. The pound, we go take a look at the pound. We just start talking Brexit. Uh, the pound uh, also is pushing lower today. We're at 122. So what I expect we're going to see out here in the next few weeks inside of the euro as well as the pound, you're going to see some real pressure. Um, and that's going to be news-driven pressure. Uh, it looks to me like you're going to be an extend and pretend once again inside the European Union and Brexit. Recap out here, Dow up 182, NASDAQ up 79, S&P's up 24. Have a great night, fake safe night, folks, and we look forward to speaking right back here tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock.